Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit and today I'm going to check out Shaolin Mantis released on Blu-ray from Idiot Films. Now, out of the 26 movies that La Garlung had directed, Shaolin Mantis is the only one that I've never seen and now I'm super excited that it is finally released on Blu-ray by Idea Films. Uh, I really cannot wait to get stuck into this. This would be uh, La Garlung's fifth or sixth directed feature, uh, depending if you count his co-directing uh, uh, on Breakout from Oppression uh, with Gordon Lau. And um, yeah, it's just one of those movies I've never really got round to getting my hands on. Of course, um, I have about 4,000 other movies here that have kind of like just came ahead of that. Um, but I also, I've never come across it as such. Now, I could have imported it a long time ago, obviously, um, which I do with a lot of my things, but I just never really reached out for it. So whenever I heard that Idiot were going to be releasing this, I was really super, super excited. And then, of course, when this gorgeous artwork from Kung Fu Bob started hitting the, uh, the internet and social media, I got even more excited, which, um, yeah, I really can't can't wait to get this uh, hopefully there is a poster somewhere in here um first of all yeah front cover back cover here uh again very typical of idiots uh design and standards and number 32 on their shaw brothers releases on their spine there so again you have the choice of playing with whatever spine you want the colored one or the uh, the more uniformed one which I have laid out, and I'm sure a lot of you also do with the numbers along the side there. Um, yes, so stars David Chang um, in the lead. You've got Lily D there, Lagar Wing, um, Li Hoi San, Wilson Tong. There's a host of fantastic stars throughout this. And of course, um, Gordon Lau pops up there as a guest star throughout. Uh, okay, I'm just going to get straight into it here, read through what uh, comes with this, um, what have we got? Slipcase with brand new artwork from Kung Fu Bob, four collectible art cards, a double-sided fold-out poster, um, HD remaster from the original 35mm negatives, English and Mandarin uh, op language options with English subtitles, audio commentary by Asian cinema expert Mike Leader and Arna Venema, audio commentary with Asian cinema expert Frank Jang, uh, complicated Families featurette, David West on Shaolin Mantis, Uncle Ten Chung, an interview with John Chung, uh, a US trailer for The Deadly Mantis, which is its retitling, a uh, Hong Kong trailer and reversible sleeve featuring original Hong Kong poster artwork. Happy Days, 100 minutes long, 1978, um, and both region A and B uh, for, for Blu-ray players. Absolutely gorgeous. Really can't wait. Um, on her, yeah, there's nothing else on the wall there on Kung Fu Bob's poster wall that has this vibrant uh, green, uh, which I'm really excited to kind of get in there. I uh, just need to figure out what space I'm going to put it in. Ugh. Okay, so slipcase off. Of course, it comes with the exact same artwork uh, in place, but I'm just going to pop that out straight away and let you see. Well, first of all, let me just... Mm -mm -mm. Boop. There we go. Inside the disc, the posters, and the art cards just here. It's quite nice. Um, and then I'll slide this out. For goodness sake. Here we go. So this is how it comes, obviously, with Kung Fu Bobs. And then on the other side here, boop, 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 we have got the original Hong Kong poster artwork. And as this is the two sides that uh, are going to be on the poster, I'm going to be very happy, but I'm also going to be pretty annoyed because I do love this one. Um, but of course, I think Bob is, is going to win as per usual because I just love framing that man's work. I mean, I'm an illustrator myself and I don't think I've, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I've framed anywhere close to my, uh, the amount of my own work that I have <laughs> with Kung Fu Bobs, but hey. Okay, here we go. Poster time. Yeah, baby. Thankfully, A3 in size. Look at that. Isn't that just friggin' gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. 
And then on the other side, yes, the original Hong Kong poster artwork with Gordon and David. Oh, I'm so excited to finally watch this. This is going to be so amazing. Okay, I'll leave that out to flatten itself because it's going straight into a frame. And then we have got the art cards, which again, I, ah, fuck it, I've ripped it. <laughs> okay, here we have, now, on the back of each of them, first of all, is this, so I'm not going to turn them all around, but here we have one Shaolin Mantis, two, so I don't know if these are replicas of the lobby cars that were available. They look like it, um, which is pretty cool. There's some pretty sweet looking scenes in here. I'm so excited for this movie. Happy days. Yep, wonderful. Okay, again, uh, I've never had this movie. I have nothing to compare it to as such, as Sinead O'Connor would sing. Um, and... I'm just going to have to go now and watch it, uh, enjoy it, and get back to you soon. Just back after watching Shaolin Mantis, released on Blu-ray for Media Films. Uh, fantastic. I'm finally so excited to have gotten the chance to see this Lagra Long movie for the first time that I had never seen before. Um, watched it for a second time with the audio commentary from Mike Leader and Arna Venema, which was highly entertaining as always, very informative. Um, but yes, just brilliant to finally get the chance to see this. The fights in it were just amazing and a very uh, different format, a very different layout to the usual Lager Lung um, movie from Shaw Brothers, which, which was fine, it was different, but in a positive way. Um, perhaps maybe the majority of the action was saved for the last 40 minutes of the movie, but I would say this is probably one of the best times I've ever seen David Chang move as well as he did. Uh, and of course, that was under the guidance of La Gra Lung. Now, I know uh, Lao had directed him uh, action-wise on many of Chang Che's movies, uh, but he didn't have that freedom to really make him look like the Kung Fu master he does here in Shaolin Mantis, which was fantastic. Uh, print looked stunning, absolutely beautiful, of course. Um, the rest of the cast were amazing. Um, the extra features, I haven't watched or listened to the audio commentary from Frank Zheng. I will go back for a third time with that, of course. The um, special feature, Complicated Families, from David West, lasts for maybe 13 or 14 minutes with David talking about the movie and about the Lao family, um, which was interesting to watch, of course. The interview with John Chung, which runs for about 20 minutes, uh, quite, quite great to watch. I think I've seen it before. I kind of want to say that. I don't know where. Um, maybe on a Hong Kong Legends release somewhere. I'm not too sure. Perhaps it is new. It just looked familiar. But again, very informative and great to hear John talk about his work, um, both with uh, Shaw Brothers and then into Hollywood, of course. Very interesting to note also on the audio commentary from Mike Leader that John Chung was also um, the first guy that the Wachowski brothers had went to about choreographing the action for The Matrix before you Mu Ping and team came along. Um, and then of course the trailers on there are fantastic to watch. And this is one of the highlights for me on this release, the Hong Kong trailer, which just it just really grabbed me. It was something kind of unique. Now, if because I had nothing to compare this to in terms of the quality, uh, in terms of how it was remastered into HD, if you actually watch the, the trailer for the Hong Kong, uh, or the Hong Kong trailer itself, sorry, you will see the quality of how this movie could have looked. And whenever you see that quality and then go to the movie, you see the, the cleanup operation and how well it was managed and how well it looks. But not only that, the Hong Kong trailer itself is done in such a way that was so different and so unique. I mean, many of these Shaw Brothers trailers are very much about selling the movie for, with using clips from the movie. That is pretty much on average how nine out of 10 movies are sold, if not nine and a half movies out of 10 are sold. But this Hong Kong trailer was done so differently and edited so wonderfully that it involved actually director Lagerlung showing off his own Kung Fu style 
blended in with clips of the movie, but edited in a way it, as if the actors and actresses were just stepping out of their characters to talk about the movie, to talk about the involvement in the movie, the weapons involved and, and the styles involved. It was brilliant and I really, really loved it. In fact, I went back and watched it a couple of times and I was not like distracted in any way. It was just such a great uh, and different take on, on how to capture your audience to bring them in to, to see this movie. But yes, overall, double thumbs up again. Stunning artwork, fantastic audio commentaries. The print is gorgeous. The movie itself is a lot of fun uh, and the fights are fantastic, especially that end battle uh, between David Chang and uh, Lao Gar Wing, of course. Um, but yes, there we are. Another one done and down. Um, this is get, uh, released this week along with Monkey Kung Fu uh, starring Tony Ching Su Tung. Definitely get out there and get it. It is worth having in your collection. So once again, thank you very much for watching and thank you for your support here on the YouTube channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, head on over to InvincibleAsia.com if you haven't already to check out my full movie reviews on as many of these titles as I can possibly cover. I'm trying to match up uh, writing with those I'm showing you here in the videos so you can read my full reviews and thoughts on the actual productions themselves. Um, and head over to Invincible Asia and Movie Misfit on Instagram to follow me for more bullet reviews and things that I just can't put to video. Oh, there's lots more to come, of course. Uh, more releases from Idea Films. I've just got Talons of the Eagle in from Vinegar Syndrome and a ton of uh, ninja media books from Germany, which I'm really excited to show to you very, very soon. Uh, until then, and until next time, enjoy your Kung Fu. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.